So what I want to do is, is there's a difference between sport and there's a difference between law enforcement. Okay, you got to think about it. If we're going to go ahead and strike somebody, somebody hits you, you're learning how to defend, and then you're basically hitting them back. Okay, what is the end goal for us as law enforcement? So much. Well, to go home. Yeah, that's the end goal. Say again? To affect the rest. So in order, if somebody is active, like striking you and hitting you, what do you think you need to be doing? You need to be striking them back, but why are you striking them? What, are you, what, what is the response that you're trying to get from that person? Control. Why? Um, get them to stop. Get them to stop what they're doing. To get them to stop. So, very interesting. Uh, in training, batons. Guys are basically beating, okay? Not making on LAPD, but then we always talk about oh, <laughs> guys that are hitting with the baton. You know? Okay. And then you're telling this person to kind of stop. Stop moving, stop resisting. Well, if I get a metal pole and I hit you with the arm and the leg, what do you think you're going to do naturally if you're that guy that's getting hit? Oh, yeah. You're going to get your head caught Exactly. So then you're moving. So then they're thinking, oh, this guy's fine. And they keep going harder and harder. And then you're telling him to kind of turn around and put his hands behind his back. No, he's basically grabbing his arm and the purse. It's just the natural reaction. So when we're striking, when you think about striking, we're thinking about like if the person's covering up, they're, they're showing up. You gotta think you gotta affect that arrest. So what do we need to do? We need to kind of bring that person down with some sort of takedown that doesn't lose the weapon that you have on your side. Like I know there's a lot of guys that, that come through training that are like collegiate wrestlers, you know, MMA fighters. I don't know if they're gonna be jumping straight down and then rolling and taking the person down to the ground because with all that movement, I can't tell you how many times I've, depending on your holster, how many times the weapon has popped out. And the next thing you know, then you just, everything just kind of escalated because the bad guy sees the weapon and what are they doing? They're going for the weapon, so now you're gonna to have to up your force. And it's a whole different uh, 